Hi, this is Brad Constantine, and this is a podcast recording of the Old Testament. Although this is not an official recording of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, every effort's been made to be as doctrinally accurate as possible. I'll be using for the text the Joseph Smith translation of the Old Testament, along with many commentaries from general authorities of the Church, BYU professors, Bible scholars, and others. This format will be very detailed, and so if you want a deep analysis of the Old Testament, you come to the right place. Thanks for your attendance. Hi, and welcome back to the uh, Old Testament podcast. This will be for Numbers chapter 36. And the chief fathers of the families of the children of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, of the families of the sons of Joseph, came near and spake unto Moses and before the princes, the chief fathers of the children of Israel. And they said, The Lord commanded my Lord to give the land for an inheritance by lot to the children of Israel. And my Lord was commanded by the Lord to give the inheritance of Zelophehad, our brother, unto his daughters. And if they be married to any of the sons of the other tribes of the children of Israel, then shall their inheritance be taken from the inheritance of our fathers, and shall be put to the inheritance, or added to the tribe whereunto they are received. So shall it be taken from the lot of our inheritance. Here Moses dealt with a practical problem that would face Israel when they began to conquer the land. Once the tribal divisions were determined, individual families within each tribe were given a land inheritance. If a portion of land was given to a single woman and she married into another tribe, which was probably quite common, then the woman's land would become the joint property of her husband. Thus, another tribe would get a portion of the land assigned by the Lord and Moses to the original tribe. Moses and the elders foresaw the potential problems and ruled that land inheritance could not move from tribe to tribe. And that was out of the Institute Manual. Four, and when the jubilee of the children of Israel shall be, then shall their inheritance be put unto the inheritance of the tribe whereunto they are received. So shall their inheritance be taken away from the inheritance of the tribe of our fathers. And Moses commanded the children of Israel according to the word of the Lord, saying, The tribe of the sons of Joseph hath said well. This is the thing which the Lord doth command concerning the daughters of Zelophehad, saying, Let them marry to whom they think best, only to the family of the tribe of their fathers shall they marry. So shall not the inheritance of the children of Israel remove from tribe to tribe, for every one of the children of Israel shall keep himself to the inheritance of the tribe of his fathers. And every daughter that possesseth an inheritance in any tribe of the children of Israel shall be wife unto one of the family of the tribe of her father, that the children of Israel may enjoy every man the inheritance of his fathers. Neither shall the inheritance remove from one tribe to another tribe, but every one of the tribes of the children of Israel shall keep himself to his own inheritance. Even as the Lord commanded Moses, so did the daughters of Zelo, had for Mala, Tirzah, and Holgah, and Milcah, and Noah, the daughters of Zelophehad, were married unto their father brother's sons, their father's brother's sons. So that's their cousins, I think. And they were married into the into the families of the sons of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, and their inheritance remained in the tribe of the family of their father. These are the commandments and the judgments which the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses unto the children of Israel in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho. So there was a practical issue that came up, and uh, Moses was able to use the help of the Lord to solve the problem. Anyway, that's the end of chapter 36, and uh, that's also the end of Numbers. So we'll see you in Deuteronomy next time. Bye.